Hello, my Skillshare class just launched. It's all about my approach to self-care. So come along for a sneak peek of my class. Let's go. So one way that I really like to get into meditation is by doing a little body scan, doing a little breathing exercise. So we're gonna set our timer for two minutes. And what I like to do is I like to sit down on a chair and sit up nice and tall, but you wanna let your back rest up against the back of the chair. Let your feet be planted on the ground. You can let your palms rest face up on your knees or you can let your palms rest face down on your knees. If you're feeling kind of overwhelmed and kind of all over the place, having palms down is really nice. If you're feeling kind of like you wish you had a little bit more energy or a little bit more gusto, you can let your palms rest face up. So I'm just gonna let my eyelids close, take a deep breath in my nose, and open up my mouth and let it go. <sighs> Big breath in the nose. And gently open your mouth, let it out. <sighs> Taking a deep breath in the nose. Pausing at the top. Open your mouth, let it go. So then I want to start down at our feet, just feeling our feet supported by the earth beneath us while you're still breathing in your nose and out your mouth. Bringing your intention up into your calves, into your knees. And then just feeling your body sitting in the seat, feeling yourself supported and relaxed as you breathe in your nose. Then opening your mouth and letting it go. Just feeling with each inhale, bringing in fresh breath. And then every exhale, just sinking a little bit deeper into the chair beneath you. Deep breaths in. Big breath out. And you can just notice if there's any tension that comes up in the body. And you're directing your breath there. I feel it a little bit in my shoulders, in my neck. Big breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. And then at the end of your two minutes, you can start to slowly blink your eyes open. Staying connected to that sense of breath now what we're gonna do with that exercise is, is we're gonna work on something that I like to call above the line and below the line thoughts. I'm going to open my little planner to just a little lined sheet of paper. When we think about writing down what comes up for you after your meditation, I like to think about it as there's a line. Things that are above the line are love-based things that come up for you in your meditation and things that are below the line are things that are fear-based feelings that we have that come up during the meditation. If you can just gently observe what some of those thoughts that came up on your little meditation movie screen were, and then come back to your planner and write them down, it's gonna help to get us out of our mind and onto paper what's kind of going on for us. And then when we know what's really going on, we can decide what we really need. And I really like that because it helps to slow us down and it helps us to materialize and get out of our head and onto a piece of paper by using our body to help to express and process what's going on for us. So this is a really useful tool to kind of connect into the gorgeous vault that is you. And let's do it. I noticed that there was like a fear of judgment that was coming up for me from you, the viewer, you gorgeous student, you from watching. And I noticed that there was this like kind of moment of like, oh, my eyes are closed and I'm on camera and is like, is someone going to think I look silly? So there was a moment of fear. But then I realized as I kept coming back to my breath, that there was a little bit of tension as a result of that fear. Well, so then I said to myself, I'm gonna breathe into that tension, which I had shared. And I said, oh, I feel a little bit of tension in my neck. 
And so I breathed into that. And then I realized that I am worthy of your time and I'm worthy of sharing what I've come to learn with you. And then this, you know, deeper part of me came up and said, wait, girl, you're kind of fun. And this is really important that we share this method of calming and grounding and working with ourselves. So then I'm going to write, I'm kind of fun. Really, I felt a sense of confidence come up. It's not about this idea of like toxic positivity or like, I'm only going to do these things that are above the line. It's really about acknowledging that we all have parts of us that get insecure or like below a line of confidence. And really what our jobs as adults are is to be that parent and be that caretaker for ourselves. We can't really look for that nurturing and that calm and that ease and validation from external sources, not from other folks, not from things. I mean, we can temporarily, but it's exactly that temporary. And so really how we can learn to deal with those insecurities and deal with those fears is by really learning to assuage them, which is like another gorgeous word for like calm them ourselves. You did it, but that's just the beginning. Embark on a self-care journey on my new class on Skillshare. I can't wait to see you there.